بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي Today is my presentation is about calculating the thickness of a highway pavement using excel sheet and this sheet myself and it is for the beginners it is for the students who wants to learn the method of payment design and at the same time it will also help the to get the value to get the design done very very efficiently in, a, in the shortest manner so all you need to do is to open this excel sheet and try and type in the yellow axis and then calculate the thickness vector uh, i compile this sheet in such a manner that for each input value there is always a comment helping you about the general range of the values so let's start a simple problem for instance initial serviceability of a rigid pavement is 4.5 so let's take with input and those if you try 4.2 uh, again the software is not going to stop you but a comment is provided to you that yes this is 4.5 it's okay what designing the vendor sensibility the range is 2.0 to 3.0 and you can take any other value other than that but what has been focused is the values that are usually being used so for uh, instance i can write say 2.0 now the center deviation is for rigid pavements are between 0.30 0 but generally people take 0.35 now there is a traffic for your payment it is you know per design per direction per lane and it is in millions uh, kips so you can type any value for instance for this example i say this my value is 2.5 The compressive strength of the value is four thousand to seven thousand, but you know I would prefer that rather take any value that make the fraction strength more than five fifty. But again, it depends upon the location of the pavement. You can take any value, but don't take values less than four thousand. Let's see. I take I this take this value as five. That makes my pleasure strip five. The reliability level, uh, as I am assuming that you are designing a arterial, so I have given you the option of three values: ninety, ninety-five, or ninety-nine. So let's see what we have been for say right. the low trace of coefficient if you are designing a plain cement concrete pavement the default and general use is 3.2 uh, but uh, if you are designing a reinforced concrete pavement maybe jointed reinforced concrete pavement or continuous reinforced concrete pavement uh, it's better the general guidance is that 2.9 for CRC. So let's see, and I will use 3.2. Now there comes the drainage coefficients. Uh, it's you know the guideline is again given 0.8 to 1.2, and you can use any value. Let's say 1.1. Now the CBR value. Uh, generally, the Ashto method of pavement design. Rigid pavement design needs the value in terms of quantity of subject reaction, but 
for the sake of convenience, I have uh, given you the option to either use CBR or then the value will be converted or you can use uh, k values. Uh, so let's see if I use CBR of 5%. As we all know, as we all know that we, uh, we all know that these values are uh, uh, this pavement could not be laid directly on the subplate, so we must have a base. Uh, User have an option generally for civic payment. We have a lean component, and for that, it is advisable. Although, uh, four option four, six, twelve is given to you, it's advisable to use either six inch lean concrete or four inch lean concrete because uh, concrete, other than this thickness, will not help you much in your actual calculation. You can also use uh, the untreated base, so the option is available to you, and or you use the untreated base. So whatever you select, and whatever thickness. Now here, I have given you the guidance as well that for symmetric base, and if you have a value greater than two hundred, it's not better not to use value more than nine inches. Anyhow, let's take this as nine inches. And that's it. This is the data that you needed to get inputs. And once we have done this input, just press this button and create things. And see what happens. Now please focus on this The values are going to change. So that's it. So you have a thickness of 8.6 inches for your pavement that has got 9 inch symmetry thickness. So this is how the software runs and it's, it's very easy. So that's it uh, for this uh, trial version of this Ashto method of pavement design, rigid pavement. Inshallah, next time I will uh, come up with this another Excel sheet that not only calculate the depth of the pavement, it would also calculate the reinforcement for you if you are designing either a rigid pavement or continuous rigid For if you want to have a copy of software, just contact me at this email address. So that's it. On my side, hope you have uh, liked my presentation. Please subscribe to my channel.